my top tips for when you're starting out writing copy um, firstly is to read everything everywhere you go read all the copy that's coming at you on adverts on serial packets on whatever it is um, and pay attention to the things that are grabbing you the things that are working don't be tempted to copy them but understand why they've worked um, were they really short and punchy uh, were they sort of trendy or zeitgeisty just sort of try and break it down and understand it um, while you're doing that, think about the amount of time that you spend reading that copy. You'll probably realise that it's really short. It's only a matter of seconds at most. Um, and that's going to help you keep things short and sweet and not waffle too much if you understand that's all the time you've got to hook your audience. Um, think about the tone of, of what you're writing, the brief that you've been given, if it gives you a direction or a feel. You might want something that is warm and comforting, you might want something that's modern and challenging um, or something that's even sort of seductive um, and intriguing. Um, and the final thing is always to be informative. Always remember what it is that you're talking about um, and the brand name or the, the company name um, because people have got to understand instantly what it is that they're getting. When you're writing copy, um, you can really look everywhere for inspiration, but the first thing you should really do is as much research as you can bear. So be a good sort of Boy Scout. And uh, whatever the subject or the, the product is that you're writing copy for, um, look up as much as you can about that thing on the internet, read around, uh, sometimes even just starting out with a title on a piece of paper and just sort of free association writing things down, uh, sometimes can throw up words or phrases that you might not have straight away come to. So that's always good to be fully clued up on what it is that you're going to be writing about. Um, the second way of looking at things is really to think about either what's really popular right now or the more unusual approach. So if you're thinking about what's popular, you can obviously be keeping an eye on television, on uh, the box office, what's on at the movies, um, social networking sites, just picking up on what people are talking about, um, you know, what's trending on Twitter. And that's going to give you a really good clue about what people are interested in at the moment, what's talking to them, what's speaking to them, and what they remember, what, they, what the adverts they can't get out of their head, they are remembering them, they're talking about them. Um, and when I say unusual, I mean sort of looking out for the things um, that you wouldn't look twice at, but actually giving them that second look and thinking, you know, is there a symbol, is there a, is there a saying, um, is there a sign that's so sort of ingrained in our culture that we don't really think twice about it, but just with a twist, you could come up with something really new um, that sticks in people's memories.